Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ACL Full and Final. This is part three. And today we discuss creating a field level ACL. So let's go to the screen. Let's open the table which we have created. This is ACL demo. Open it. Let's go to the security rules of this one. Here you see at the bottom, we have only one ACL which we have created in last video. And it is a table level ACL. Let me open it. You see it is having no role, nothing, only table level thing. Okay, so now let me create one more ACL. Click on new. This will be again a read one. And for the timing, we are creating it on description. So this is a field level ACL now. Okay, so now just save it. Continue. So we are not adding anything else in this. All fours are empty. So that's why all four of these are returning true. Okay. So now let's impersonate to the users. First of all, we impersonate to ITL user and see whether this field level ACL is creating anything or any issue. Just reload this. So no. ITL is able to see it. Now impersonate to second one that is the user with no role, able tutor. Impersonate, reload it again. No is also able to see everything as simple as that. Now we will go back and make some modification and impersonation and add the role here in this particular field level ACL. Save it. Now let's go here and impersonate again with able tutor. So now let's see what will happen. Let me reload. So you see here, Abel is able to see the table, but is not able to see the description field here. It is not present anywhere. So ultimately what we are seeing here, we are seeing two ACLs. One is table level and second is field level. So in order to gain access to that particular object, the user must pass both level ACLs. If it fails at any level, the object will not be available to him. In case of able right, he was able to see the table every time. But when we have added role in the field level ACL, the table level ACL granted access, whereas the field level ACL does not granted access because able does not have ITL role. So we signifies that a user must pass both table level and field level ACLs in order to access the object. So I hope you are getting this. If you have any question, let us know in the comment section. I will come up with more such videos where we see deep implementation of ACLs. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.